Hello and welcome everyone to a new Power Query challenge. This challenge I have received in a comment in one of my videos and it is related to how to change the structure of a table like what we are going to see right now on the screen. So let's go and we'll talk again after looking at the challenge. In this challenge we have a table containing two columns. First one is a list of vendors and also the categories that each and every vendor providing for. So in this case, let's look at the first item. We have a company called United Company. The category they are working in is Delhi. Also, they are working in dairy. So they have two lines, Delhi and dairy. And then we have allied distributors. They are providing three items or three categories, meat, vegetables, and fish. And finally, we have Cairo Trade that is providing only one category, which is the snacks. The requirement is to have a unique list of these vendors. And then we put this unique list as column headers, as you can see in the output table. And the column below each and every header, which is basically the name of the providers, will have the list of categories. So United Company have Delhi and Dairy, Allied Distributors, Meat, Vegetables and Fish, and so on and so forth. Not only this, when we have new data like these three items, when we add them inside the table, we just refresh the query and everything will be updated automatically. We have the new vendor, AB Sons, with two categories, bakery and cereal. And also we have the allied distributors added a new category, which is basically the fruits. As you may notice, it is a very simple challenge. However, you may think it is not very practical. In my mind, it is a very good opportunity for you to try to utilize your knowledge in a practical case. If you manage to solve the challenge or even you reach a partial solution, please share it with me on the email on the screen right now and also use the description that will appear on the screen as well. Next week, I'm going to publish the solution video and if you send me your solution, you will find your name at end of the video. Thank you very much and see you next video and bye.